precision with which you've imagined changing medicine has been yeah. spectacular. Yeah, well, I'm a, I'm a physician scientist, as I said, and I was originally an HIV immunologist. Um, in addition to doing basic science research, I took care of HIV patients in the early days of the epidemic. And I've had the experience of sitting across from a patient and basically telling him or her that there's really nothing that we can do for them and describing what fate lay ahead of them and trying to do the best I could to counsel them, but feeling just completely inadequate in the ability to do my job and to provide them a real benefit. And so what I think success looks like is when a patient who's facing life-shortening disease, when the parents of a young child with sickle cell disease can come into your office and you can tell them, it's okay, there's something we can do about it. Or any one of the countless conditions that we're trying to treat that are either rare genetic diseases, that are advanced cancers, or over time common diseases, because there's no reason why the approach that we're describing can't apply to common diseases as well, conditions like Alzheimer's disease. When you can change that from counseling patients about what's ahead to telling patients that it's okay, there's a cure. It's, a, it's, it's, it's night and day. Um, and we can talk about the ability to drive success. We can talk about the ability to build great companies. If you can do that, if you can do what I just described, you, you will build a great company. You don't have to worry about anything else. That essentially is the core of what genetic medicine holds for the future.